in Argentina in Buenos That's Aires. That's sensational. You speak thing? Spanish? I do now. But they speak right. a very different kind of Spanish. It's Castellano, so it almost sounds like Italian. Yeah. That's a nice introduction for our ranking. Five most important characteristics of Argentinian Spanish. And number five is intonation. Una vez yo estaba en México hablando con otro argentino y una chica que estaba escuchando dijo parece que cantan cuando hablan. Do you agree with that? Do we speak as if we were singing? I think this is what Megan was talking about in the introduction. De donde sos, cuando llegas, ta 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 ta. Some people say that Argentinians sound as Italians speaking Spanish, and it makes sense. Most of us are descended from Italians, and this is related with puesto número cuatro, italianismos. Not only the intonation remains from the Italian immigration, we use, especially in the informal register, many words from Italian or the different dialects. Cerveza es birra, trabajo, laburo, una persona muy capaz, un capo. Chico, pibe, mujer, mina, comer, manchear o morfar. ¿Y ese libro, bueno, me lo, me lo morfé en una hora? Una hora ¿Qué de capa esta no mina, eh? Puesto número 3. Che, boludo. These two words are really characteristic of Argentina. You can use it together or not. We use che mainly to draw attention when we want to say something. It's similar to hey, che. ¿Vamos a tomar una birra después del laburo? We also use it to show surprise or amazement. Qué buena que está esta birra, che. This word seems to be much older than the massive Italian immigration, but its origin is not clear. Maybe Mapuche or Guarani. The word boludo deserves its own video, but in few words, it could be a loving, informal way to call a friend. Che, boludo, tenés mucho talento para la música. ¿Puedo decir? <laughs> Or an insult. Che, sos boludo, vos. ¿No ves que estoy pasando? Meaning damn, silly, or something like that. As an insult is not as strong as pelotudo, but believe me, it's not easy to use this word in the right context and with the right tone. So if you're not a native speaker from Argentina or Uruguay, I suggest avoid using it. Well, maybe the safest way to use boludo is using it with yourself. Yes, we often use it with ourselves. No, que boludo que soy, y del mate. Puesto número dos, voceo. It consists in using the pronoun vos instead of tú. This is not exclusive from Argentina, of course, it's also used in Uruguay, Paraguay, Costa Rica, Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador, partes de Colombia, parte de México, etc. But it's one of the main characteristics of Argentinian Spanish for sure. We use it almost in any situation and we only change it for usted in really formal situations. We never use tú. And it's not only the pronoun that changes. The conjugation is also different with tú and vos. Pero solo en presente del indicativo e imperativo. With vos, we usually stress the words at the end. Hablar, vos hablas. Tú hablas. Comer, vos comes. Tú comes. Escribir, vos escribís. Tú escribes. And an extremely important verb, ser. Vos sos. Tú eres. Notice that learning the conjugation is easier in voceo. In imperative, we just remove the final R and stress the word at the end. Hablar, habla. Comer, come. Escribir, escribí. Hacer, hace. Decir, decí. Tener, tené. Venir, vení. Y así. With tú, it could be habla, come, escribe, haz, di, ten, ven. Yes, irregular forms. Boceo doesn't have irregularities. Almost. The verb ir uses the imperative form of andar. 
Anda a estudiar ahora. The only one. Eh, mira vos. Puesto número uno. Seísmo reilado. The sound for double L and Y in Spanish may change a lot depending on the region, while in some varieties people pronounce yo or yo. In Argentina we pronounce the sound sho, sho, as we do in English with the letters SH, una ballena encallada, una estrella amarilla, un mayo lluvioso. I made a video about the letters pronunciation in Spanish if you are interested. Y ahora te dejo la chapa. No te olvides de suscribirte, tocar la campanita, dar like y dejarme un comentario. Ponete el anillo y desaparece. de vuelta. Nah, boludo. Yo ya comí pollo ayer. ¿Siempre compras pollo vos?